بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از کیمبرج فزکس فائیو زیرو فائیو فور کورس اینڈ آئی ایم یور ٹیچر مریم رفیق ٹوڈے وی گانا ڈسکس چیپٹر نمبر تھری دیٹ از فورسز بٹ بفور گیٹنگ ان ٹو دا کور کانسیپٹس آف دس چیپٹر آئی وانٹ ٹو شیئر سم لرننگ آؤٹ کمس لائک واٹ از فورس واٹ کاز از چینج ان موشن nature of forces and how do we calculate the magnitude of force force we hear the usage of this term many times in a day to day life we might not know that that we are using it like opening a door riding a bicycle and lifting an object a few of the most common things that we performed in our daily life and we require force Now consider a ball lying on a ground at rest and it's not moving. Suppose this player here wants to pass this ball to his teammate who is standing on the other side of the pitch. How will he do that? He needs to make this ball move in the direction of his teammate so he will kick the ball in the direction of his teammate. And when he kicks the ball, we say that he applied a force on the football. Yes, so the kick is nothing but the force he applied on the ball. Now suppose that we have a desk at a point A and a person wants to move this desk from point A to this point B. Again, how will he do that? Here he pushed the desk toward B and in this case we say that the person applied a force on the desk in order to shift it. So the push here is the force that the person applied on the desk. Similarly, when you lift some object from a table, we say that you are applying a force on that object so here the force is applied in the form of lifting so force are nothing but the action such as kicking pushing lifting etc performed on objects now students you will see that while riding a bicycle we pedal it continuously to keep it in motion here pedaling is the force we applied on a bicycle similarly hitting the hammer on a nail is also a force applied on the nail and what about stopping a moving ball yes even stopping a ball means that we are applying a force on it similarly opening a drawer plucking the string of a guitar and moving a piece on a chessboard are some of the other actions that we perform on object but These are just handful of simply too many actions that we can perform on the objects and it's not possible to write each one of those. But yes, we can categorize all these actions into two basic ones. Pushing and pulling. So here are some examples and after that we can conclude this like that a force is a push or pull upon an object resulting from the object's interaction with another object i hope you will understand from all this force that will give a mass of 1 kg and acceleration of 1 m per second per second now we have to discuss some types of forces or you can say the nature of the forces here some are listed here like weight tension magnetic force electric force contact force friction and resistance now we have to see them individually Oh, we are not talking about that weight students. We are actually talking about the weight that is discussed in physics and that is the pull of the earth acting on an object. The next one is tension. And this is not the tension that you are taking before and after exams. This is the tension explained here is the pull at the both ends of a stretched spring, string or rope. The next is magnetic force. Now what is magnetic force? Magnetic force is the attraction or repulsion that arises between electrically charged particles because of their motion. And it is the basic force 
responsible for such effects as the action of electric motors and the attraction of magnets for iron. The next one is electric force. An electric force is exerted between any two charged particles or objects and the objects with the same charge, both positive and both negative, will repel each other and objects with opposite charges, one positive and one negative, will attract each other. The next force is contact force. And contact force is any force that requires contact to occur. Contact forces are ubiquitous and are responsible for most visible interactions between macroscopic collections of matter. Next one is friction. Friction is the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces like fluid layers and material elements sliding against each other. There are several types of friction like one is dry friction and is a force that opposes the relative lateral motion of two solid surfaces in contact. In the last, this is resistance. And resistance, a measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. The viscous forces in a fluid are proportional to the rate at which the fluid velocity is changing in space. And the proportionality constant is the viscosity. I hope you understand all these. Thank you so much and good luck.